I can't even begin to tell you how dangerous this act is. First, it was passed in the middle of the night with 40 minutes to read an 800-page bill, which is unacceptable. As of January 1st, 2023, the following things will go into effect, and people need to be aware of this. It abolishes cash bail for almost every offense. This includes, but isn't limited to, kidnapping, armed robbery, second-degree murder, drug-induced homicide, aggravated DUI, threatening a public official, and aggravated fleeing and eluding. Offenders released on electronic monitoring have to be in violation for 48 hours before law enforcement can act. They could almost drive to Alaska before we can even look for them. It denies victims their constitutional rights. And keep this in mind, businesses and homeowners, officers will no longer be able to remove trespassers from your resident, residence or your businesses. Someone could decide to live in your shed and all we can do is give them a ticket. You have to decide what level of force is required to remove them and whether or not it's legal. This is a massive threat to the residents of Oil Park, Cook County, and Illinois. I want to remind voters that several elected officials that will be on the ballot in Orland Park voted for this abomination. Senator Michael Hastings, Senator Emile Jones, and Representative Justin Slaughter all voted to put criminals ahead of the safety of law-abiding citizens and police. In particular, Senator Hastings, who personally told me that this, that this bill, that he had a family, and that this bill was horrible and there was no way he would vote for it. An outright, an outright lie that in my opinion disqualifies him to hold his office. I will gladly cast my vote for, the re for this resolution and demand the repeal of the Orwellian named Safety Act. But it doesn't end here. There is currently a bill in, in front of the House to remove school resource officers from our schools, which means no resource officer at Sandberg High School. The city of Chicago has already done this. I personally don't want to see the city of Chicago become the standard for how we conduct public safety because they've abandoned their police officers and abandoned their residents and created a war zone full of criminals. There's also a bill to make fentanyl a misdemeanor in this state. And I want to remind you that we have represent representatives that currently represent us or will represent us, potentially, in the federal government that voted to not extend the fentanyl ban federally. Fortunately, it passed. But there are people that actually believe that we shouldn't have a ban on fentanyl that currently, that currently represent our community. That's just absolutely unacceptable. It's, it's like they won't, they, they won't stop until they destroy our communities and our society. We all need to take a stand against this. This is a very, very dangerous bill.